Hello, friends and family. Kamusta po kayo? Good morning, good afternoon, and, and good, good evening. evening. Whatever time you're listening or watching, welcome po sa ating Monday Devotion. It's another day na binigay sa atin ng Panginoong Diyos. And remember, God is always good. Amen. And today, He has something for us. Again, we are our topic on Jesus, I need you. So before that, let us come to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. Truly, this is the day that you have made. And Lord, we rejoice and be glad in it, knowing that you are with us, that you have stored something for us today, Lord God. Father, speak to us even as we listen to your words through our devotion today. Yes, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. So as uh, Pastor Nell mentioned, we're still on the devotion, Jesus, I need you. So let's begin. Immediately, immediately after God proclaimed his praise for his son, he led him by the Spirit into a long, intense, fiery trial. Often following a time of victory or success, we may be brought into a time of great trial. Matthew 4 begins by telling us that Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness immediately following his baptism and inauguration into public ministry. We find that in Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to verse 11. What are Jesus' three responses? Look carefully at the three things he addresses and allow them to speak into your heart. Did the Lord apply any of these responses to your heart? Mm -hmm. Do you ever wonder why God doesn't just shelter Jesus from Satan's temptations? Rather, the Spirit led Jesus into severe testing in severe surroundings for a sovereign purpose. Mm -hmm. What does God want to prove? So here is a, a good question. Because you know, the very things that uh, Jesus went through, tayo din, dumadaan din tayo sa ganito. Mm -hmm. So did you ever wonder why God doesn't just shelter you? you know, why doesn't he just protect you, you know, 100% from all of Satan's trials and temptations? Why doesn't he just do that? Mm -hmm. He's sovereign. He can do it. But he doesn't. Rather... He leads us into severe testings, in severe surroundings, and this is the good part about it, for a sovereign purpose. Mm -hmm. There is a godly purpose why God allows us to go through trials and to enter into severe surroundings. You know, what does God want to prove? Mm -hmm. You know, according to these passages in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 1 to verse 7, Deuteronomy 8, uh, 2 to 6, James 1, 2 to 4. You know, what might God put you through trials for? Do you think Satan's temptations is a trial? So, itong mga temptations, but trial, yes, uh, they are both trials. The temptation, you're being tried. Mm -hmm. Yung uh, test or yung mga, mga pagsubok, you're also being tried. Mm -hmm. When we experience great trials and testings, we can know that it does not mean we are unloved. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you need to understand. You know, many times, akala natin or sinasabi ng ibang tao when you're going through trials, ah, hindi ka mahal ng Diyos. Okay, pinabayaan ka oh, kasi Diyos. pinabayaan ka, eh. hindi mm -hmm. ka mahal ng Diyos. Eh, dumadaan ka sa matinding pagsubok, ah, hindi yes. ka mahal ng Diyos, pinabayaan ka. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely not true. Mm -hmm. Hindi totoo na hindi tayo mahal ng Diyos. In fact, no matter what we do, mm -hmm. God still loves us. It doesn't mean that he approves everything we do. The point is that no matter what we go through, no matter what we do, God's love will always be there. Amen. So when we experience great trials and testings, we can know that it does not mean that we are unloved. Mm. We may not always understand his purposes in allowing us to be tested, but we can be sure his plans are for our ultimate good. So definitely, we will not understand why God allowed such things. Why did He allow us to go through a trial? Mm. You know, why didn't He? Why didn't He just shelter us? Why mm. didn't He just stop it? Why didn't He just protect us? Why did He allow sickness? Why did He allow pain? Why did He allow separation? Why did He allow lack? Why did He allow starvation? Oh, I mean, so many things that God allows. 
you know, we will never, never understand why. Mm -hmm. But then we can be sure that His plans are for an ultimate good. Mm -hmm. Whether, you know, the trials is something that's part of His perfect will, or whether it's because of a consequence of something we did wrong. Because mm -hmm. the yung mga trials na mga pagsubok natin is a result of what we did wrong. Mm -hmm. But in spite of that, God still has a good plan. God can still turn those things around. Amen. When we submit to Him, when we surrender our lives to Him, when we ask God for forgiveness. So even the consequences of our wrongdoing, once we ask God for forgiveness, repent of it, definitely His plans are for an ultimate good. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, what comfort can you take in knowing that Jesus understands and that He has overcome? Mm -hmm. You know, knowing that Jesus understands everything we go through is a great comfort. Knowing that He overcame, if He overcame, we too can overcome through Him. Amen. So the reflection and the prayer is this. Even as the Lord allows Satan room to make a move in your world, do not fear. God is working. His timing is perfect, and His perfect is always for your good. Remember Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future, a hope and a future. So think through your life circumstances. Look at them in the light of the truth of God's Word. So when you look at your circumstances, when you look at the trials you are going through, look at them in the light of the truth of God's Word. Mm -hmm. Choose to believe God's Word that all things are working together for your good and for His glory. And that there is definitely a godly purpose for why He has allowed us to face such a trial. Mm -hmm. Choose one truth from today and apply it to your heart. So take it through you, take it with you throughout the week. You know, take this devotion that we're sharing every Monday and meditate, it, meditate upon it throughout the week and let God speak to you. Let me read some of the scriptures that is um, for today's devotion. Matthew yes. 4, verse 1 to 4, 4 says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For 40 days and 40 nights, he fasted and became very hungry. During that time, the devil came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, No, the scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2 to verse 6 says, Remember how the Lord your God led you through the wilderness. For these 40 years, humbling you and testing you to prove your character, to find out whether or not you would obey his commands. Yes, he humbled you, letting you go hungry and then feeding you with manna, a food previously unknown to you and your ancestors. He did it to teach you that to teach you that people do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Yes. For all these 40 years, your clothes didn't wear out and your feet didn't blister or swell. Think about it. Just as a parent disciplines a child, the Lord your God disciplines you for your own good. Mm -hmm. So they obeyed the commands of the Lord your God by walking in His ways and fearing Him. So God uh, allowed uh, the Israelites, His people, to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. It caused them to be humble. It tested their character to find out whether or not they would obey His command. So there is a purpose of why God allowed them to go through the wilderness for 40 years. Uh, two more scriptures. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 to verse 7 says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing 
nothing. Yes. So when faith is tested, it has an opportunity to grow. Oh, yes. So yan din ang isang dahilan kung bakit hinahayaan tayo ng Diyos na dumaan sa mga pagsubok. Mm. So that our faith can be tested because once our, if our faith is not tested, we will not grow. So our faith needs to be tested in order for it to grow. So God wants us to grow and therefore He allows us to go through trials and temptations that we may endure it and that we may grow. For, uh, James chapter 1, verse 2 to verse 4, and then Pastor Arnell will share. And through your faith, God is protecting you by His power until you receive this salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day for all to see. So be truly glad this wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. These trials show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire, as a, as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold, so when your faith remains strong through trials... It will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. So again, the purpose of trials is the testing of our faith. Yes, tamo. and when our faith is tested, then our, our then you know it, it will re, your faith will remain strong through trials. Then you know we will bring glory and honor to God. Amen. So Amen. trials is definitely. Uh, the reason for trials or the yung trials not and definitely does not mean that God left us. It does not mean that God does not love us. Yes. It's God's way of growing our faith. It's God's way of disciplining us uh, so that we get back on the right track. It's God's way to grow us. Amen. So let's grow in faith and let's allow, let, let's be, be strong during these times of testings and trials. Pastor Arnel. Amen. So, nakita nyo yung ating uh, devotion ngayon, uh, yung pananaw niya, yung pers- perspective sa mga bagay na nangyayari sa ating buhay. So, when we go through troubles of any kind, malaki, maliit, problems, trials, temptation, wag tayo kaagad magtatampo or mawawala mm-hmm. ng pag-asa or yeah. nadi-dishearten tayo. But, Allow God to speak to us. Mm-hmm. Kasi sabi nga doon, faith is tested. So when we confess that Jesus is Lord and we have faith in God, we will be tested. Talagang Amen. daraan tayo sa mga pagsubok. Yes. And I remember, Pastor Jimmy, I think, shared this one time that yung mga doctor, yung mga engineer, mm-hmm. bago sila naging doctor, engineer, or whatever, mga na, na, kumbaga na abut nilang mga titles, dumaan sila sa maraming tests, yes, so. maraming pagsubok, maraming mga trials, and everything before talaga napatunayan sila mm-hmm. na sila ay qualified na tawagin mga doktor, mm-hmm. mga anumang profession. And ganun din sa boxing. Si Manny Pacquiao, paano siya magiging champion of all champions kung hindi niya lumaban ang pinaka matitinding kalaban. Mm-hmm. So, lahat po tayo ay daraan sa maraming pagsubok. And the good thing about these things is one is, it's an opportunity for us to grow. Dito talaga tayo lalago. Dito talaga tayo Amen. titibay. And without these things, hindi tayo mapapatunayan na, na tayo ay lalakas o lalago without these things talaga. There's no shortcut. And meron ang kasabihan that without pain, there's no gain. No pain, no gain. And somehow, ganun yung sinasabi sa atin ngayon. That trials and temptation will always be part sa buhay natin. Maaring ang dahilan nito ay sarili nating pagkakamali. But in, the, in His goodness, sa kabutihan ng Panginoong Diyos, He can help us and, and give us a way of escape kung paano ito malalampasan. At at the same time, if God allows these things to happen, there is a purpose, a greater pur- purpose why humaharap tayo sa mga pagsubok na ito. And so, don't be disheartened. Huwag tayong magtatampo. Don't think na pinabayaan na tayo ng Panginoong Diyos or may favoritism ng Panginoong Diyos. No. So lahat tayo ay daraan dito. Amen. Katunayan si Jesus, Panginoon na siya, pero mm-hmm. dumaan siya. At ganun din tayo. We as followers of Christ, for sure, we will go through many trials. But the good thing is, sabi ni Jesus, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged. I have overcome the world. Amen. In other words, pinakita niya na ang katagumpayan. Pwede tayo magtagumpay. 
at katunayan yung katagumpayan niya ay ibinibigay niya sa atin. Yung katab- katagumpayan ni Kristo ay katagumpayan din natin. Amen. So let's look to Him and follow Him so kung paano niya to hinarap yung mga pagsubok na to. Amen. So napakaganda ng ating devotion for today. Yeah. So again, wag po tayo mawala ng pag-asa, wag tayo madiskuray. Look to God, look to His Word, and allow God to speak to us sa pamagitan ng mga trials na ito, mga pagsubok na ito. Amen. 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 Definitely, God will speak to us through trials. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's during these most difficult times in life na talagang mas umiiyak tayo kay Lord. Eh. Napapalapit tayo. Oh, napapalapit <laughs> tayo kay Lord. Eh. So, you know, allow these times not to draw you away from God, but to draw mm-hmm. you closer to God. Yeah. Amen. Tama. So, uh, brothers and sisters, you know, those are my final words for you to this, uh, this devotion. Allow the trials of your life to bring you closer to God. Yeah, that's right. Minsan, pag okay ang buhay natin, dun pa yung tendency na hindi natin kinakailangan ng Panginoon. Hindi tayo nagpipray kasi kala natin okay ang buhay, kaya na natin to. But somehow, pag dumaran yung mga pagsubok, dun tayo napapatawag, dun tayo napapalapit sa Panginoong Diyos. Diba? Kung isipin natin, a blessing in disguise. Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin, something bad, pero sa kabila nito, God can turn it around for our good and for His glory. Amen. So whatever that are your, whatever you're facing right now, ano man ang hinaharap mo ngayon, again, look to God. Don't be discouraged because God has something for you. God has a wonderful plan para sa bawat isa sa atin. Amen. With that, let us come to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you that you love us so much, Lord God. That even during trials and temptation, that you allow us not to destroy us, not to abandon us, but you want us to grow in our faith in you. You want us to grow in our character that we will become like Christ. Kung paano siya humarap sa mga pagsubok. Lord, we thank you. Thank you Jesus. We can look forward beyond this uh, trials and temptation. After all, hindi po ito magtatagal. They serve a purpose sa buhay yes, po namin. Lord Jesus. And so, Lord God, we look to you. We trust in you. Thank you Lord. We hold on to your promises you, that all things work together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. We want to follow you. We want to obey you. And part of that is sometimes We will face trials of many kinds, Lord God. But we pray that we will not lose heart yes, or be disheartened, but trust in You, completely trust in You. And Father, again, we thank You that You are a God of breakthrough. There is victory in Christ Jesus. Thank you, we thank You, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. And God, God bless CRC. CRC. God bless the Philippines and God bless Olongapo. God bless you all. Have a great week. Mm-hmm.